Hey guys, it's Aaron here, Question Period Canada. We've got a great episode coming up, man. Got something good. We'll jump right into it. It's uh, Pierre Polyev versus Justin Trudeau. They go head to head. It's pretty great. We'll jump into it. Three days in Canada. Saturday night, a 16-year-old boy stabbed to death at a Toronto subway in an unprovoked attack by a repeat offender. Sunday evening, a father stabbed to death outside of Vancouver Starbucks with his wife and daughter present. Sunday night, a man stabbed on a Toronto City bus and taken to hospital. Monday night, uh, a sub- sergeant, a police officer, killed in near La Trois-Rivières. And in the early morning uh, of this day, a young girl shot to death in Calgary. This is part of the 32% increase in violent crime since the Prime Minister took office. Oh, Will he reverse the policies that caused it? The up? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, we are, like all Canadians, deeply concerned with some of the very uh, heinous crimes that we've seen over the past uh, number of days. The increase uh, in violent attacks on innocent Canadians uh, and on those serving the public through law enforcement uh, is extremely concerning. That's why we will continue to be there to make investments in public safety. Uh, Unlike Conservatives who cut funding for police officers, we've invested uh, in public safety. We invested in municipal police officers as we've invested in community safety programs. Have we strengthened gun control as we've continued uh, to strengthen uh, consequences uh, for violent offenders? Uh, we will continue to be there to keep Canadians safe. Honourable Leader of the what Opposition. What else would you say, though? People are tired of hearing yeah. about his concern. They want to know what he's going to do to reverse the damage he's caused. He brought in a bail system that allows repeat violent offenders back out on the street again and again, sometimes released the very same day in Vancouver. The same 40 violent offenders were arrested six thousand times in a year. That's 150 arrests per criminal per year as a result, a direct result of the Prime Minister's uh, easy bail system. Will he replace bail with jail for repeat violent yeah. offenders? Right, Honourable Not a big fan of incarceration, but in our country... We will continue to work on lot, bail reform, including uh, working with the provinces the to country. ensure that we have a fair and responsible system that keeps Canadians safe right across the country. But if the member opposite was really serious about moving forward on keeping communities safe, he'd back our upcoming Bill 21 at third reading to make sure that we're keeping uh, assault weapons out of the hands uh, of people across this country, that we're strengthening gun control... Uh, to freeze handguns, that we're continuing to move forward instead of being in the pockets of the NRA to focus on Canadians. I don't, I, I don't, the Honourable maybe, Leader maybe. of the Opposition. Unbelievable. He thinks that a hunter in Nunavut is responsible for the stabbings in downtown <laughs> Vancouver. How ridiculous. Under his policy of targeting law-abiding citizens while we're allowing repeat violent offenders to go out on the street again and again, We've seen a 32% increase in violent offences. In in fact, one of the detectives close to the case in Toronto said that the offender was out again on numerous releases. Probation, prohibited bail, you name it, he's been released on it. This is a full scale justice system failure. Will he reverse it? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, amidst all this tragedy, it's interesting to see the lengths to which the Conservative leader will go to avoid talking about his desire to weaken gun control in this country, to bring assault weapons back into the communities where they were banned over the past couple of years by this government. We've put a freeze on handguns uh, in the market across the country. Uh, We're strengthening gun control, and every step of the way, the Conservative Party stands against it, Mr. Speaker. And that's why I'm asking them, uh, with their concerns about public safety right now, will they step up and accelerate the passage of C-21 when it comes back to this House for... for, 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 for How do you feel about that? Here are the opposition. When we were in office in the last year, there was 124,000 fewer violent crimes than there was last year. Violent crime, including murders, have skyrocketed under this policy of this Prime Minister. He's targeting law-abiding hunters and farmers rather than the the repeat violent offenders who are committing the crime. Why won't he look at the evidence which has demonstrated that our streets have now turned into war zones after eight years of his policy? And will he replace 
bail with jail for repeat violent offenders. Yeah. Yeah. The right bail with jail runs very well. Here, right? Speaker, the member That's opposite himself brought up what they did under the Harper government uh, in those years. What they did was loosen That's gun control laws. That's what they did a, was make it easier uh, for people to buy assault-style weapons. You. And that led to direct Good increases in gun ownership and, unfortunately, in violent crime across the country. That's why we're trying to bring back uh, stronger gun control legislation legislation despite the conservatives ideological opposition to gun control we will continue to put the safety of canadians and their communities first we will continue with stronger gun control laws right across the country you could have been a real man just i listed four stabbing deaths that have happened in the last three days including a police officer and the prime minister glibly got up and said well he's going to ban hunting rifles stabbings happen with knives, not hunting rifles. Perhaps that's why we see a 32 percent increase in violent crime since this prime minister took office. He's not looking at logic or facts. It's the criminals wielding the knives that are doing the killing. Does he really believe that banning rural hunters will stop knife crime in big cities? The Honourable Minister of Justice. Feel safe, and Canadians must be able to feel safe in their communities. That's why, Mr. Speaker, on March 10th, I met with my provincial uh, counterparts, my territorial counterparts, to work on bail reform, to include repeat violent offenders, to include crimes with knives, Mr. Speaker. We have a plan. I invite the honourable member to read the joint communique that came out of that federal provincial uh, uh, territorial meeting of justice and public safety ministers, and we are moving ahead with that plan. The honourable leader of the opposition. The question was for the prime minister, who didn't have the guts to get up and yeah, answer. Right. Woo! It's getting hot. I listed four murders and near murders that happened with knives in the last three days. This is part of a massive crime wave that the Prime Minister's catch and release bail system has unleashed right across the country. We did not have crime like this before he took office. His solution? Ban hunting rifles in rural communities. Mr. Speaker, I ask him again. Does he really believe that banning hunting rifles in rural communities will stop knife crime in direct downtown questions. cities? Yeah. It is a direct question. Oh, it's awesome. That's great. We're out.